Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. If you are watching this video, then that means you selected the Kraken pen holder for your trash panda treasure box. Okay, so first things first. We are going to put some water into our uh, plastic dish and then not much. You don't want it to be too full. Um, and then we're going to pinch off some little pieces of clay and put them in that water. When we stir this up, it's going to make um, kind of a soupy, milky substance, and that is called slip. And slip is basically glue for clay. So we'll use it when we have separate pieces that we want to affix together. And just as an illustration, so say I have two pieces of clay that I want to affix together. For us, it's probably going to be the head of the kraken and the legs. Um, so if I have my two pieces, just roll these into little cylinders real quick. I'm going to use the slip and score method. And that's basically kind of roughing up the surface of the clay and applying some slip to it. Um, and that's going to help them stick together. So I'm going to show you if I have these two pieces and I want to stick them together. I can stick them together, but they're kind of just going to come right apart. However, if I sort of rough up that surface with sort of a cross hatch and then apply some of this clayey, gluey water that I've made, the slip, the stuff at the bottom will be super gluey. Um, and then affix my pieces together. And we'll just let that sit for just a little bit and smooth away some of the excess that kind of leaks out. Then if I want to try to take them apart, they have kind of squelched themselves together and it's a lot harder to pull them apart, which means whatever I make will be more solid. On to the Kraken. I'm going to use about a third of mine to be the head, which is kind of a really big oval um, that's going to be flat on one side, um, but kind of like a big a big bulb, but smooth. So I'm going to use a little bit of that slip to even out any cracks or anything that I have from my rolling of the clay. And then I'm just going to tap it on the table a couple times to start to get that flat bottom. And that will be the head of my Kraken. But the most important part is going to be the legs. So I'm going to take what's left of my clay and I'm going to divide it up into eight pieces. My Kraken is going to be a little more octopus-like than squid-like, but because this is your art project, you can do whatever you want with it. So I'm going to start with one of the legs, and I'm just going to roll it against the tabletop until I get kind of a noodle, but a thick-ish noodle, because the thinner the clay gets, the easier it's going to break. And you're going to be handling this a little bit because we're going to paint it when we're done. So. Don't make them too thin. Um, and don't worry too, if something does break, that's what glue's for. Now I think the tentacles obviously need to have suckers on them. And I think there are two different ways that we can do that. One way is to roll little tiny dots and then squish them. And it's sort of a time consuming process, especially if you're making a whole lot of tentacles. But I think that this will be the easiest way to paint the tentacles later if you want the suckers to be a different color than your actual leg. You can use the slip to help attach them. You probably don't need to score them just because they're so tiny. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more of these. Just roll a tiny ball and then squish it flat and adhere them to the legs with a little bit of slip. So my tentacle will look a little bit like this when I'm ready to attach it. I brought over a pen so that I can sort of see if I'm gonna have enough room for it to actually hold up a pen once I've got that tentacle shaped the way I want it. And you know, this part is totally up to you. How you want those to curl around. That's maybe not quite enough room Maybe I'll widen that up a little bit. And then I'm going to start work on my second leg. And this is, this is basically the deal. Um, take it so it's not too long or too thin. 
Now, a good way to add suckers to a tentacle if you don't want to roll those tiny pieces is to use the round end of your chopstick. And you can just kind of make little indents like this. It's going to give us the same impression. I think it's going to be a little bit trickier to paint um, if you wanted them to be two different colors. If you don't, might be just fine. If you want the tentacles to be kind of white um, and the rest of your kraken to be whatever color, um, I think red and oranges is what's going out in the boxes, um, then this would be a better way because maybe your paint won't go in those holes as easily. And I'm just going to kind of shape each tentacle and then once I I'm adding all of the tentacles together and I'm going to put the head right on the top. Um, I am going to use a little bit of slip as I add each tentacle in, um, making sure that each of these legs will hold a pen the way that I want it to. And then I'm ready to add the head. So I put some slip on there. And then I'm going to take more slip and I'm going to kind of ease down and smooth out where the head joins the body, where the legs join the head. And that's in the front and around the sides. And try to just make it all look like it's one piece instead of nine separate pieces that I'm sort of fusing together. You can use your fingers for this. You can use the popsicle stick for this. I also would like to give it some eyes and I think some angry eyebrows um, because I think that's what will make me the happiest when I see it on my desk. <laughs> so I'm just going to do squish circles for the eyes and I'm kind of going to do squish rectangles for the eyebrows. Add those right there. And again, just uh, squish those, <laughs> squish those little angry eyebrows on. And then we are going to let this one dry overnight. Once it is dry, paint it with an overall color. Um, reds and oranges are what has gone out for you guys. And then gold is the color that we've, that we've added. So I'm going to do gold eyes and gold eyebrows, I think. Um, and then I'm going to go back in and try to make the suckers on those tentacles a separate color. And that could be a little time consuming, might take a little bit of patience. You probably don't have to hit them all, but you'll get the impression that you want if you get, you know, a couple on each leg. And that is your Monster from the Deep to hold your pens or paintbrushes or chopsticks or whatever long objects you would like it to hold. Thank you guys for following along. I hope this was enjoyable for you. As you may have noticed when you went looking through your boxes, I don't have an order form for August. A couple of reasons for that. We're taking a little bit of a break. Um, and that is because in September, we really hope we're going to be going back to in-person programs, which means our anime club is going to be coming back, Fandom Fridays. We're going to be having a teen steam afternoon once a month. We're also going to be having a crafternoon once a month. The good news is we're still going to keep having subscription boxes. But I need some input from you guys on what type of things you would want to see in there. So please fill out that little questionnaire that gives you some ideas of things that you could tell me that you hope you see more of in upcoming boxes. Or you can use the blank space at the bottom to tell me if you had a perfect subscription box, what would be in it. That can be anything from the big craft, the little craft, or even the snacks. So let me know about those. You can drop them off at the library. You can text me a picture of it. And I will email out forms when they are ready for the September boxes. So have a good month of August and I hope to see you all in September.